And as the new finance minister settles into his new ministry, he will have a lot to manage as the new year has brought more price hikes. The government has said one of its main goals is to tackle the high cost of living here in Israel. And so joining us now with more is Dr. Alex Komen, value creation expert with the Academic College of Tel Aviv Jaffa. Dr. Komen, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. So Smotrich taking office and warning right off the bat that the new year will see a rise in interest rates, which could in turn lead to an economic slowdown here in Israel. Is this the case and how worried should we be? First of all, it is the case. Um, we should be uh, actually tomorrow interest rates are supposed to, uh, to be increased by the head of the Israeli bank. Uh, I see this as, as a uh, lack of creativity or la lack of ingenuity. Basically, whatever happens in the United States happens in Israel only to a lesser extent. Last time, the U.S. increased interest rates by three quarters of a percent. In Israel, it, it was increased by half a percent. So the idea is that we have inflation. Inflation is bad. It happened because during the COVID pandemic, governments printed money as if there's no tomorrow. And now they're trying to get the money back by, by hiking interest rates. So we see the same thing in Israel. And of course, it, it's not very creative. And we hope that it will not uh, destroy, it will not choke the, the economy and bring us too much into recession. And so how can the new government help in, in ending what, what Smoltry said would be a, a vicious cycle, or as you said, the lack of creativity? Well, uh, they can act in various areas where you can cut down prices. The, the first area that everybody is talking about is uh, cost of living, whether you're talking about uh, buying an apartment or whether you're talking about renting an apartment. These prices have been going up. Um, increases in the value of apartments have, re have increased the rental because uh, quite a few investors, they expect the rental to cover their interest rates the mortgage that so they buy an apartment and they expect the rental to cover their mortgage and as the mortgage goes up they expect the uh, rental to go up uh, as well so this can be solved because israel is own, owns some like 90 percent more than 90 percent of the land here the government but it, it's completely it's handled in a very clumsy way so if the government actually took initiative and forced the, the, the minhal, the unit which is holding the land, to actually sell more and more and more land. This would reduce the price of land. And then they need to shorten the time between the initiation of a construction project and its completion, which is some like three and a half years in Israel. It's only, it's less than half a year in the States. So yes, things can be done. But in the past, these things were never taken too seriously. And as a result, they did not succeed. And now the new year bringing new price hikes. Where are we mainly seeing these increases? Okay, one area where th that is of great concern is the fact that many brands are uh, very expensive in Israel. And this is the result of, of uh, ridiculous Israeli standards. So the same product that can be sold in Europe, it has the European standard or in the States, does not comply with the Israeli standard. There's no rationale behind that. And many manufacturers in the world, around the world say we are not, the, the Israeli market is not large enough for us to create an assembly line or a production line just for Israel. And so as a result, the supply in Israel is very limited. So in many areas, you basically have one brand or two brands that control the market versus situations around the world where you have a wealth breadth of, well, of brands. So one thing that was started, and I think Smotrich would continue, is to remove Israeli standards so that the product that is uh, that confirms with European or U.S. standards will be able to automatically enter Israel, and so it can be also products can be acquired in cheaper countries uh, and brought into Israel, and this would create competition. It would break the stalemate, and hopefully cut the prices. Mm -hmm. Well. The previous government, as you mentioned, also sought to introduce more co competition, bringing in, for example, a supermarket yeah. chain, Carrefour. When are we going to yeah. see the, the benefits or, or sort of the rewards of this, of this move, this maneuver? Well, foreign chains are, are anxious to enter the Israeli market, even though it's not large, because of the very high profitability. 
they actually find it hard to believe how profitable uh, Israeli market is. So it will take, I believe, uh, around half a year, between half a year and a year, when uh, Carrefour and Spau, for instance, a Dutch chain, will enter Israel. And that would benefit the country tremendously. All right. Well, let's hope this new government will be able to tackle the high cost of living. Dr. Komen, thank you so much for your insights. Pleasure.